Hey there and welcome back to my channel. A couple of months ago I solved a Karakuri small box number 8 that was sent to me by one of my viewers whose name is Neil and I said that uh, he sent me two puzzles and I will solve the second one a little bit later. So today is time to solve it. The name of the puzzle is Castle. It looks like a tower of a castle. It looks really nice and I like the color of it. It is a 3D printed puzzle and it's a sequential discovery puzzle. It is made. It was made by Printed Tech. Uh, the puzzle designer of this uh, puzzle sells his uh, designs on Etsy. I will put a link to his uh, store in a video description. But before I will proceed to solving the puzzle, I have an announcement about the book from Peter Hayek. I know that a lot of you are waiting for the book that is locked with a lock and you don't even know how the lock looks but I told you that I saw it a couple of weeks ago and now I have this book with the lock. Yeah? Are you surprised? <laughs> That's That looks good. That looks really good. I thought the lock will be something like a wooden stuff or maybe it's gonna be like a padlock or something else but it is the super elegant solution. I wasn't expecting something like that but it looks really cool. I solved it, I know how to solve it, but I'm not gonna spoil you the solution. It's an amazing and uh, good looking puzzle lock uh, and I think that you're gonna enjoy solving it. It has a couple of interesting tricks. So if you like the Peter Hayek's uh, book locked with this elegant lock and you wanna buy it, it will be available at Pelican's website, but you know, Pelican never tells me the exact date, so just keep looking at their website. It will be available very soon. And now let's try to solve this beautiful castle puzzle. So now I'm gonna try to solve the castle puzzle. It looks really good. It looks like a tower of a castle. What's going on here? I have the top part that is moving a little bit. I see there is a metal pin right here. There is another one here. So there are like two metal pins. Okay, and I have to... Oh, okay, wait a second. There are three. Three metal pins. Oh, four. Oh, okay. There are four metal pins. And I guess... Yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. Two metal pins are uh, uh, hidden in this part and two are hidden in this part. So when I tilt the uh, tower this direction, the pins that are hidden here uh, comes out. And when I tilt it to the right, the pins uh, from this part are going in, but the pins from this part are going out and they block the castle. So I guess I have to open this top part, but how to do that? Okay, maybe I have to, oh, not like this. I have to spin it. Yeah, I have to spin somehow so the pins go away, but as you can see, I can't do it normally since the, uh, the, the tower will be leaned a little bit. So maybe I have to do the trick like this, like it's with the helicopter, Da Vinci's helicopter puzzle, where I had just to spin it left and right. Um, yeah, it looks like it works, but not as perfect as I want it to be. Maybe there is a magnet hidden somewhere in the puzzle and I have to just grab the magnet and move the parts. Okay, let's let's move here. I see there is a button. There is another here, another one here and something on the bottom right here. There is another piece right in here, but I think it is glued. So this goes in. Oh, and when I push it, there is a metal pin right here. When I push it, it goes inside. And there is another pin in this cutout. Okay, so guess when I push it in, there are two pins. One goes inside of this part and another goes down here. And then I can kind of remove this piece. But how to do that? I can't lift it like this. Oh, there is a lot going on inside the tower. I don't know what is inside, but there's like a lot of stuff. Maybe I have to push all three buttons at the same time. Oh, this one is stuck inside. Okay, probably it's a good sign. Maybe no, I don't know. Ooh, I think that I know what, they, uh, what these two buttons do. So I have to push this in and then push 
both buttons and they're gonna push this part out since it moved a little bit. Let's try again, yeah. Now it is going up a little bit. That's interesting, I can push this button quite deep, but this one doesn't go as deep. Maybe there is some kind of a pin. Oh, now, yeah, now it goes very deep. But now this one doesn't go deep. Oh, oh, done. Oh, yeah, I was correct. I had to lift this part up. Oh, there are two metal pins here. There are some springs inside. And what's next? What I have to do next? Are they magnetic? Let's see. There are metal pins here. No, they're just pins. They're not magnetic. Oh, oh, there is another piece here. It looks like a key since it has a key printed. And it was hidden in this part. Okay, that was, that's why I had to remove it since there was a key. And I have to use it somewhere. I can put it in this. Oh. When I put it in this cutout, there is a spring inside. Okay. What about the rest? No, the rest three doesn't have any springs, but this one has a sp Oh, now it is kind of a stuck. Okay. Mm, I think that there are not only four metal pins here that block the upper part, but also there is a some kind of a spring-loaded piece that I just put inside. But now I have to deal with the pins. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to remove the top part. Probably have to like rotate it a little bit. Okay, two metal pins are out, but two are still locking the tower. Oh, it doesn't feel that it helps a lot since the pins are still there. How to remove them? That's interesting. There is a hole where the pins are. Maybe I have to stick something there, but I don't think that I have something that I can put inside. Oh, I think finally all the metal pins are in and I can unscrew the top. Ooh, that was hard. And oh, this pin is stuck. I think that I pushed it too hard inside and it is permanently. Oh no, okay. <laughs> I've been able to undo it. That's good. I'm still wondering why there are holes there. Maybe I was supposed to find another way how to deal with these pins. I don't know, but after a lot of shaking, I've been able to remove the top. Okay, what's inside? Another box? <laughs> okay, so I opened one box to discover another one. And I have to open this one as well. And this one has a lot inside. Okay, I can see there is a metal pin in this part. I have to somehow unlock it as well. I guess it has a spring and I have to push inside of this hole. Okay, but where to find the tool that I can push in. And this box has kind of a two leads. One on this side, another on this side. And this doesn't seem have any. Yeah, there are no any pins here but it is somehow locked probably there is a pin inside since this puzzle is all about metal pins probably there are pins inside and I have to oh that's true <laughs> there are six pins inside oh and they can be removed okay and I guess this is my tool this is my tool to push that <laughs> okay let's try Oh, I don't want to mix the pins with others. Let's try to push here and see 
what will happen. I can rotate it. Okay. Yeah, probably I have to do it the other way. To unscrew the top. Uh -huh. But the metal pin oh, again stuck in the cutout. And I hope this is the end. And there are no small boxes inside of this box. Ta da! There is a token that says 39 out of 99. And that's it. I guess the puzzle is solved. Yeah, there are a lot of pins here. Six there, there is seven, there are two more, and six. Oh, okay, so this puzzle has 15 pins that I can see and remove and probably there are two more pins that are locking these two buttons. Okay, now I have to put everything back inside. Okay, this one is locked. Now put it back inside, lock this part and I have to do it in such a way that I don't lose any of the metal pins. All that goes in. I guess I have to use the key to screw the lid all the way in. And probably have to use it a couple of times. Yeah, now this part is locked. I have to put on the, the bottom piece and that's it. The puzzle will be assembled. And done, finally. The assembling was quite a challenge since you have to put all the pins back inside, but you have to rotate the puzzle as well and the pins are falling out all the time. And the last piece, this one, is quite difficult to put since you have to put a small pin, uh, which is spring-loaded, and then fit the bigger piece, the plastic piece, with another pin on top. But the small pin keeps falling out. So that's quite a nightmare to assemble it back. But the puzzle is quite fun. It has a lot going on inside. Not so easy to figure out what you have to do. I'm still wondering about the part with the pins on top if I did it correct since it doesn't seem like I did it right since that move to spin them wasn't quite correct. I don't know maybe there is another tool hidden inside which I have to use and put it in these small holes to keep the pins out. Don't know if you know a better way how to open the top let me know in the comments. And that was my solution of the castle puzzle. If you like it, I will put a link to uh, Puzzle Designer's uh, Etsy page. We can write him, maybe he's gonna uh, do more of these puzzles. If you like the Petra Hayek's book and you wanna buy it, it will be available at Pelican's website probably by the end of the next week. And you will be able to buy the locked version of the book. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed my video, hit the like button, subscribe and see you in my next video.